Go down with, become ill with a specific illness. Hey, have you heard about Mike lately? Not really. The last time we talked was a couple of weeks ago. Why do you ask? He's not been in good shape. Apparently, he's gone down with the flu. Oh no, that's quite unfortunate. The flu can be really nasty sometimes. Yes, he had a high fever and was bedridden. I tried calling him, but he barely had the strength to talk. That's quite serious. I hope he's taking his medications. Yes, he is. His family's taking good care of him. They even called in the doctor when his condition deteriorated. I just hope he recovers soon. Indeed. I will send him a get well soon message and maybe some soup. That might cheer him up a bit. It slipped my mind. Have you seen the new series The Crown on Netflix? The Crown, hmm. I don't remember you mentioning that series to me before. Really? That's peculiar. I was certain I had mentioned it. It slipped my mind, I suppose. That's okay, it happens. So, what's the series about? The series is about Queen Elizabeth II's reign. And you get a glimpse into the life of the royals. The storyline is so captivating. You'll find it hard to stop watching once you start. That does sound interesting. I've always been intrigued by the British royal family's history. I think I'll give it a watch. You won't regret it, I promise. Let me know what you think once you've watched the first few episodes. Definitely, I will. Thanks for the recommendation. Not a problem at all. Always happy to share great content. Let's talk about it once you are caught up. Pay back, repay money or a favor to someone. You seem in high spirits. What's the good news? I finally got a new job. And the kind of job I always wished to have. Wow, congrats. However, I also loved the homemade cupcakes from your mini bakery during the lockdown. Well, that was just to keep going. You know I had lost my job and was low on savings. I remember. That's why we regularly ordered from your bakery. Yes, you guys were the pillars. And now that I'm back on my feet, I want to pay back. Pay back? You don't owe us anything. I do owe you guys a lot. You helped me through a challenging time, and I plan to host a thank you dinner for all my friends who supported me. Go around, circulate or spread, often as a rumor or disease. Have you heard about this new diet trend? You mean the one where people are only eating fruits and raw vegetables? Yes, that's the one. Apparently, the idea started somewhere in California and has been going around all over social media. Oh, is that so? Well, I'll always be skeptical of these fad diets. Quick fixes rarely represent healthy and sustainable changes. I agree with you on that. I simply mentioned it because it's surprising how quickly things like this can go around nowadays. Yes, indeed. It's the power of the internet. Before you know it, half the world is following along. Well, I guess there's always a balance that needs to be found. 
It's good to be open to new ideas, but always with careful consideration and research. Couldn't agree more. Life needs balance, and that includes our diets as well. Keep back, retain or withhold something. Hey, did you hear about the old library building they're planning to demolish? Yes, I heard about it today. It's such a historic place. I wish there was a way we could save it. I was thinking the same thing. Perhaps we could appeal to the city council, tell them about its importance. Maybe that could keep them from tearing it down. That sounds like a good idea, but do you think it will work? After all, they seem determined to go through with their plans. Well, we won't know unless we try. Lots of things have been saved from destruction when communities have banded together. Do you want to help? I think it's definitely worth a shot. Let's start gathering support and drafting our appeal today. Get ahead of, outpace or surpass someone or something. Hey, I recently heard about your plan to hike the Himalayas during winter. That seems a bit too challenging, don't you think? Yeah, it does. But that's the whole thrill of it. After all, we only live once. True. But remember that trek you tried last winter? You ended up sick for quite a while. Then there are dangers like avalanches and frostbite in such harsh conditions. I know. I have given it all a lot of thought. The important thing is to not give up on your dreams. If I happen to face any danger, I'll make sure to consider safety first. That's the spirit. But please ensure to prepare well. You don't want to give up on the hike halfway due to underestimating the challenge. Absolutely. Preparation and caution are my top protocols. Set out, start a journey or a mission. Hey, have you heard about the new mission to Mars that NASA just announced? Oh yes, I did. They're planning to set out next year, right? Yes, exactly. It's interesting how far technology has come, allowing humans to make such tremendous leaps in space exploration. Definitely, it's something that was unthinkable a few decades ago. Do you know any details about the upcoming mission? I believe it's been named Mission Red Planet. The main objective is to find potential signs of life. They're planning to send a team of astronauts will be on Mars for about two years. That's quite a long time. The people chosen for this mission must really be daring and dedicated. Absolutely. It's no less than an adventure, filled with risks and uncertainties. True. It's an amazing leap for mankind, and I look forward to following their journey. I'm feeling on edge. Did you watch the game last night? Unfortunately, I missed it. I've been up late working on my novel. I didn't know you were writing a novel. How is it going? Honestly, it's hard. I put every spare moment I have into it. Sometimes, I feel like the characters are more real than my everyday life. Sounds intense. Make sure you're not forgetting to take care of yourself. You're right. Lately, I'm feeling on edge, probably from putting too much pressure on myself. Maybe you need a break, do something fun. 
It could help you relax. That's a good idea. I should probably start going to the gym again, or catch a live game once in a while. Definitely. And don't forget to hang out with real people. It might even help with your writing. Yeah, I suppose a game with friends could do some good. I'll consider that. Thanks for the advice. No problem, always happy to help. Brush up on, review or improve your knowledge or skills. Hey, how was your vacation in Spain? It was amazing. I loved the culture, the food, and the people. It's a beautiful country. Did you get to practice your Spanish? I did, actually. But, I realized I need to brush up on a few things. Oh, like what? Mostly some specific vocabulary words. For example, I wasn't very good at talking about directions or locations. I found myself lost a couple of times and had a hard time asking for help. Directions can be tough in a different language. You should try using an app or find a language partner. Yes, you're right. I've already downloaded an app to help me brush up on my Spanish. I believe my next trip will be much easier. Making Promises I've noticed something about promises. They have become less meaningful these days. That's a heavy assertion. Why do you say that? People often make promises without intending to keep them. It's as if the process of making promises has lost its gravity. That's true, but shouldn't we also consider the intentions? Sometimes, circumstances change. And people may find it hard to fulfill their promises. Circumstances are one thing. But what about those who make empty promises just to impress? Or persuade someone? It's this trend that is concerning. It's a valid point. Making a promise is a big commitment. It's not something to be taken lightly. Exactly. That's the essence of it. We should consider a promise as a bond. A serious commitment to be honored. Agree with you. Promises should not be mere words. But actions intended to be followed through. Internet love. Have you ever tried an online dating app? Honestly, I have. It was an interesting experience. But I had my share of disappointments, too. How about you? I did. To be honest, I met some really amazing people that I wouldn't have had the chance to meet otherwise. However, I won't say it's been perfect. I get you. The internet does open up a larger pool of potential partners. That's for sure. Yet, I also believe having an element of personal contact enhances the relationship. I agree. I mean, you can feel an initial click or connection through messaging, but ultimately, you need to meet in person to see if the connection is real. Internet love has its own set of challenges. But, in the end, it's just another way to meet people and possibly find love in this digital age. Sure. It's all about balance and setting the correct expectations, isn't it? Make do with, manage or cope with what is available.
Did you get your pay slip? Yes, I did. What are you planning to do with your salary this month? I'm planning to save it. I've been wanting to buy a new laptop for a while now. Unluckily, it's way too pricey for my current budget. Are you sure it's prudent to spend so much money all at once? I thought about it and it's difficult, but I realized that my old laptop is no longer serving me well. It's your call. Wouldn't it be a good idea to make do with your old laptop for a bit longer and save more money? It could save you from potential financial constraints. You may be right. It's possible for me to manage with my current laptop. I'll definitely consider your advice. That's a good idea. Hey, did you see the new hiking trail opened up near the lake? Oh, really? I haven't heard about that. I've been interested in getting more into hiking lately. Yeah, it's perfect for beginners. The view at the top is stunning, too. I was thinking we could check it out this weekend. That sounds fun. Do we need to bring any special gear? I think just a pair of sturdy shoes and some water. Maybe some snacks, if we want to hang out at the top for a bit. That's a good idea. I've got an old backpack lying around that we could fill with food and drinks. Great. We could make a day out of it. Start out early morning, reach the top by noon, and then head back in the evening. Sounds perfect to me. You think Chloe and Josh would want to join us? I can't see why not. The more the merrier. Absolutely. Let's extend the invite and then start preparing for our adventure. Keep off, stay away from or avoid something. Hey, I noticed you didn't come to the gym with us yesterday. We really missed you at the spin class. Yeah. I've decided to keep off the whole gym scene for a bit. Really? But you were so dedicated. What happened? Well, I read an article about how traditional workouts might not be the healthiest option for me right now. It went in depth about the benefits of outdoor physical activities over indoor ones. That's interesting, but gyms also have their own benefits. You don't have to completely abandon them. Yes, I know but this is just something I wanted to experiment with. I figured a change of pace could be beneficial. Sounds like you've thought this out. Remember, the most important thing is to listen to your body. Definitely, and that's what I'm doing. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, you have a dog, I see. Yes, I do. His name is Max. He's a Labrador. Cute. I have been planning to get a dog for myself as well. Well, but I'm not Labradors quite sure are which quite friendly and social. You should consider adopting one. I'll think about it. But I have heard Labradors are quite expensive for many people. Is it true? It depends on where you get them from, but they could be a bit on the pricey side, that's true. If you don't mind me asking, how much did you get Max for? I bought Max from a friend of mine, who was a professional breeder. I got a good deal. Plus I was assured of his lineage and health. Could you maybe give me his contact details? Sure, I will. Let me just get it for you. Thank you. Sounds like a good potential option. It will be. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. I appreciate your help. I don't have a clue.
Did you happen to watch the late night mystery show on Channel 4 last night? No, sorry. I couldn't manage to find time for television yesterday. How was it, anyway? Quite intriguing. They put forth an unsolved case where a man vanished without a trace from a locked room. They asked viewers to come up with possible explanations. That sounds interesting. And what do you think happened? Honestly, I don't have a clue. The room was locked from the inside. No windows, no secret exits. Nothing suspicious was found. Could it be a trick? Like magic tricks where the magician manages to disappear? Could be, but they ruled out such possibilities. They did a lot of investigation, but to no avail. It has truly left me wondering. It does sound fascinating. Maybe I'll watch the repeat telecast tonight. Definitely do, and let me know if you manage to solve the mystery. Sure, I am actually quite excited about it now. Travel Have you ever considered traveling for a year to experience different cultures? Sounds intriguing. But isn't it expensive and complicated to be on the road continuously? It doesn't have to be. You could opt for work exchange programs, where you work part-time in exchange for accommodation and meals. It's a brilliant way to cut down on traveling costs. That's a novel idea. But I wonder, isn't the language barrier an issue when traveling to different countries? To some extent, it is. But most people in tourist places speak English. Plus, there are translation apps to help out. True. And there's the aspect of making friends globally and the unimaginable learning it would bring. Absolutely. Traveling broadens one's perspectives in ways that staying put in one place never can. You've piqued my interest. Maybe I should plan on taking a year off for traveling. Look for, search or seek something. Can you believe the weather today? I thought it was supposed to be sunny. I know, I heard the forecast mention sunshine with a gentle breeze. I was looking forward to going for a picnic. That sounds nice. What park were you planning to visit? I was thinking of going to Central Park. You know, I've been looking for a peaceful spot to read my new book. Central Park is a pretty good choice. There's a nice spot near the pond that you might like. That sounds perfect. I hope the weather clears up soon. I really need some time to unwind. You should definitely do it. A good book in a nice spot sounds like the perfect way to relax. Let me know when you find your perfect place. I'm so proud of you. Good day. I heard about your recent success. How does it feel? It feels incredible, like a tremendous weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I imagine. Especially since it has been such a long journey for you. Yes, it has been a challenging ordeal, but it was worth every hurdle. I agree. I remember when you first started. How much you had to learn and grow. I must say, I'm so proud of you. That means so much, thank you. There were times I felt like giving up, but knowing I had support kept me going. And look where that determination has led you. Now, you're a prime example for others. Who might be feeling lost or discouraged. I hope so. I want them to know that perseverance is key. Absolutely. Remember, 
It's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. That's so true. Isn't that the essence of growth itself? Couldn't agree more. Keep shining and reaching for greater heights. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Hey, you've been unusually quiet today. Is everything okay? To be honest, I'm not really sure. I've just been having a tough time lately, and I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want to talk about it? It's just everything at home. Trying to juggle the kids, household chores, and filling in at my spouse's work. It's just too much. That sounds really tough. Have you considered maybe asking for some help? I don't want to burden anyone else. Remember, it's not a burden if people are offering to help. Everyone needs assistance at some point in their life. Besides, you'd do the same if the situation was reversed. I guess you're right. It just feels like I'm supposed to manage everything on my own. It's okay to feel that way, but allow yourself to lean on others. We all need a supportive system. I'm here for you too. Thanks. That means a lot. I think I'll reach out to my family and see if they can lend a hand. Go ahead with, proceed or continue with a plan or action. Hi. You remember the out-of-town summer trip we discussed last month? Yes, you suggested going to the beach. Is that still on the cards? Absolutely, but there have been a few changes. We might go to a mountain resort instead of the beach. I just thought it might be a refreshing change. That's a radical move, but it sounds interesting. Have you worked it out? Not yet. I'm still putting some ideas together, but I felt it would be nice to tell you before I go ahead with the planning process. I appreciate it. Especially since I love mountains. I'm excited to see how this plan evolves. All right then, I'll all set the wheels in motion and let you know how things shape up. Sounds great, looking forward to it. I'm so excited. Hello, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Not just great though, I'm actually very excited. Oh, excited for what? I'm so excited to be traveling to Greece tomorrow. It's been on my bucket list for years. Wow, that's fantastic. I've heard the beaches are stunning and the food is incredible. Absolutely. I am looking forward for the sandy beaches, clear water, and of course the delicious Greek cuisine, especially the seafood, and the famous dishes like moussaka and spanakopita. You must also visit the ancient ruins. The history and culture there is fascinating. Definitely. Visiting ancient ruins like Parthenon, Acropolis, and Delphi are on my itinerary too. That's splendid. Don't forget to click plenty of pictures. Have a safe trip. I will share the pictures with you. Thanks for your good wishes. Food. Have you tried the new French restaurant in town? Not yet. How was it? It was incredible. I ordered their beef bourguignon and chocolate souffle. 
Sounds delightful. I heard they use only organic ingredients. Yes, you're right. They grow their own vegetables and herbs. The freshness came through in every bite. I love that. Sustainability and taste both in harmony. What was the highlight for you? The chocolate souffle. It was perfectly risen. Light, yet rich in flavor. The molten chocolate center was divine. You're making me hungry. That sounds absolutely decadent. It was. You really need to try it for yourself. I certainly will. I seldom say no to a good food experience. That's the spirit. Don't forget to book in advance. They seem to be quite popular. Thanks for the heads up. Looking forward to it. Hold out. Continue to resist or endure something. Have you heard from Drew lately? Yes, I spoke to him just a few days ago. He's still trying to get his novel published. It's been years, hasn't it? He must be quite frustrated. Well, yes and no. While he's definitely experiencing some rejections, the process hasn't diminished his determination. He still believes in his work, even after receiving numerous rejections. That's commendable. It's tough to hold out when facing that kind of adversity. Absolutely. Perseverance is crucial in such a subjective industry. Instead of letting the rejections discourage him, he uses them as a motivation to work harder and refine his work. That's an inspiring attitude. I hope it pays off for him in the end. I'm sure it will. After all, the path to success isn't a smooth ride. His resilience will surely pay off someday. Bring along, take someone or something with you. Hey, there, I'm planning to take a trip to the beach this weekend. Would you like to join me? That sounds great. I've been longing for some sun and sand lately. Awesome. Do you know anyone else who might want to come? I have a friend, Ryan, who loves the beach and would probably be interested. Should I ask him? Absolutely. The more, the merrier. We'll have a mini beach party. Fantastic. I'll reach out to him tonight and also mention that he can bring along a friend if he wants. Good idea. And please remind him to bring along his own beach gear. I just have enough for myself. Sure thing. It'll be a fun outing. I can bring my volleyball gear too if everyone's up for a game. That sounds like a perfect beach day. I can't wait. It's a big deal. Did you watch the game last night? Yeah, I did. Those final moments were nail-biting. I know, right? The underdogs really showed their mettle. Yes, what a comeback. It's safe to say they took us all by surprise. They really did. They finally earned their stripes. Too bad it won't matter much if they don't make it through the qualifiers. You kidding, right? It's a big deal. This win has given them a lifeline. True but they still have to cross numerous hurdles. Let's see how things turn out. Well, I'm rooting for them. They have the talent and now the confidence as well. Well, better keep your fingers crossed. This sport has a knack for unpredictability. I agree. These plot twists are what make it all the more entertaining. Absolutely. It wouldn't be the same without them. I'm at a loss for words.
Hi, have you seen the stars last night? Ironically, I did. You know I'm usually not one to gaze into the night sky, but there was something oddly dazzling about it last night. Totally. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd say. The scattering of stars, the unimaginably massive universe, it's all a sight to behold. Personally, I couldn't help but ponder about the mysteries it holds. It's crazy to think about all the unknowns that are out there. Oh, absolutely. Just to sit there, staring into the vast expanse with infinite questions, but no immediate answers, really puts things into perspective. Indeed. Last night, I was completely captivated by the constellation and the infinite darkness. I'm at a loss for words, truly. It's almost beyond description. I couldn't agree more. Those star-studded moments are the ones that remind us that the universe is so much bigger than our realities. Definitely. A humbling yet magical reminder of our minuscule position in the grand scheme of the cosmos. I'm in a hurry. Good morning. Have you had a chance to check out that new book I recommended to you? Hey, no, I haven't. I've been a bit caught up in things lately and haven't had the time to read. That's a shame. It's a superb read. There's this character in the book who reminds me of you. Very strong-minded and tenacious. That sounds interesting. I'll try to find some time to sit down and read it. Yes, you definitely should. They have this unexpected adventure which I think you'll enjoy. I do love a good adventure. It seems like I've got a lot to look forward to in this book. Absolutely. By the way, have you decided about the dinner tonight? Not yet. I need to check my schedule. I'm in a hurry now. Let's catch up about it later, please. Sure thing. We can talk about it later in the day. Expressing Preferences Have you ever considered relocating to another city? Well, I've thought about it. I prefer living near the ocean. So coastal cities interest me. That's interesting. I've always chosen mountainous regions. Because I'm a hiking enthusiast. Nothing against mountains. But I favor salty breeze over the fresh mountain air. What about the pace of life? Would you prefer a bustling city or the tranquility of a small town? I lean towards the laid-back lifestyle of a small town. It's less stressful compared to the rush of an urban city. Yes, the slow and serene life of a small town can be quite appealing. But I quite enjoy the lively city atmosphere. I thrive on the hustle. I can see that. It's all a matter of personal preference, isn't it? Absolutely. Everyone has their own idea of the perfect place to live. Pay off, succeed or yield a positive result. Hey, remember that ancient guitar I had gathering dust in my attic? Yeah, the one you found during spring cleaning? What happened to it? Well, I decided to take some lessons online. I always enjoyed music, so I thought it was worth a shot. That sounds fantastic. How's it going? It's better than I ever imagined. My teacher is brilliant, and I've already learned how to play a couple songs. Wow, so your decision to learn guitar really seemed to pay off. It certainly did. I didn't know how much joy it would bring. I'm even thinking about joining a local amateur band soon. That's amazing. Persistence and curiosity really do pay off sometimes, don't they?
I can't help it. Did you manage to finish that book you were telling me about? No, I just couldn't handle the suspense. So I ended up reading the last chapter. How could you? The whole point of reading a story is the journey it takes you on. I can't help it. If a book is engaging, I can't hold myself from peeking into the last few pages to know what's happened. But doesn't that spoil the entire reading experience for you? Surprisingly, it doesn't. In fact, I find it more interesting this way. I like to see how events lead up to the ending I already know. So, you like to connect the dots backwards. Exactly, it's like solving a mystery. To each their own, I guess. I couldn't imagine doing that though. For me, every page is like a new revelation. Yes, and that's the beauty of reading. We can each have our own ways of enjoying it. I'm really into it. Hey, have you heard about this new video game that's been making rounds on the internet? Yes, it's the Space Adventure one, right? with the aliens and multiple galaxies. That's the one. I think it's fascinating. In fact, I've been playing it since last week. Oh, you are? I thought you were not into video games that much. Not really, but this one piqued my interest. Its storyline is so compelling that I could not resist it. I see. Sounds exciting. I have been thinking of starting something new to keep my mind occupied during the weekends. Perhaps. This could be it. You should definitely give it a try. It's mind-boggling yet fun at the same time. I'm really into it. All right, I'll download it tonight. Maybe we can even play it together this weekend. That's a great idea. It has a multiplayer feature, which makes it even more enjoyable. Perfect. Let's do this. I can't wait. Come about, happen or occur. Hey, did you hear about Jack's surprise party last night? No, I must have missed that. How did it come about? Well, you know Jack's been having a pretty rough couple of weeks at work. So, his girlfriend thought it was time to lift his spirits. Sounds like a good plan. But Jack isn't much of a party person. How did she convince him to go? Funny story, she told him they were going for a quiet dinner. He had no idea until everyone started yelling surprise at him. That must have been quite a shock for him. I'm sorry I missed it. Oh, don't worry. There's a video of the whole thing. His reaction was priceless. I can't wait to see that. I guess every cloud does have a silver lining, huh?